Hello, and welcome to this brief demonstration where I'm going to show you how to connect a Febreze home device onto a home Wi-Fi network. The first step in the process is to download the Febreze own home app onto your mobile device, which I've done here. The second step is to plug the Febreze home device into the wall. And now you'll see the Febreze uh, going through a series of light sequence. And that blue light means uh, the Febreze is ready to be provisioned. So let me bring up the app. Now I have already created my um, user account, which is simply an email and secure password. And the app asks me whether I want to buy a Febreze or Febreze sent or add a device. So I'm going to add a device. Now, the first step is um, the Febreze right now is uh, comes from the factory in access point mode. In other words, it's broadcasting a Febreze SSID. And so what I want to do is now connect to that. Um, I want to connect to the Febreze right now. So I'm going to look for Febreze FF96. So that's the Febreze I want. And I will now bring back Febreze, and what I've um, actually done is logged into the Febreze from my phone, and Febreze is telling me, okay, which Wi-Fi network would you like to connect to? And it's automatically click connected the right one, Protea Home. Now I need to join the network, which is, I need to enter the, the uh, Wi-Fi network password, which in this case is IoT Fun. 17. I'm going to hit done and then join. And now you'll see Febreze going through several lighting sequences. Um, in the past, when I've entered the wrong um, password, I got a red blinking light. And if I were to hit that button, I would get an error message telling me uh, to the effect I uh, not couldn't get onto the internet. Hopefully we're seeing a green blinking, and we do. So I'm going to wait for it to stop blinking. That tells me that uh, Febreze is on the home network. Oh. And now it's confirming that the device connection. So what's happening now, one thing I didn't mention, is all devices that are connected to, oh, success. Um, all devices that connect to the Arant cloud are whitelisted. Uh, Arant issues uh, its customers a unique ID for every device that's manufactured. So at manufacturing time, uh, that ID is uh, burned or flashed into the device. What I didn't mention here is that um, in the case of Febreze, that unique ID is passed during the app Febreze interchange. There's no need to enter the unique ID or use a QR code. So uh, PNG has eliminated one of the tripping spots that a lot of people have in entering uh, or onboarding an, um, a device. So let's pick a um, uh, how we want to uh, call this device. It's located in my bathroom. Um, B1, and there's the provisioned Febreze device. Thank you for your attention, and if you have any questions, email us at info at Thank you.